Hi hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS and it will help you a lot to pass the MRCS exam. Here is the question. First of all, at which of the following anatomical locations does the common peroneal nerve bifurcate into the superficial and deep peroneal nerve? So after reading, we have to find out the key points to answer the question. Here, at which of the following anatomical locations does the common peroneal nerve bifurcate? By bifurcate that means the common peroneal nerve divided into two parts that is the superficial peroneal nerve and the deep peroneal nerve so first of all we have to see the common peroneal nerve and the termination of the common peroneal nerve here the options the options are immediately anterior to the linear aspera that means linear aspera it is a fat it is a border of femur at the lateral aspect of the neck of the fibula within the substance of tibial is anterior muscle at the inframedial aspect of the popliteal fossa and under the medial head of the gastrocnemia. So we have to find out one of the fifth or five option in here to which is compatible that means which is answer of the question. So here in this picture we can see this is the common peroneal nerve and the common peroneal nerve it arises from the sciatic nerve at the upper part of the popliteal fossa and upper part of the popliteal fossa the sciatic nerve is divided into the common peroneal nerve and the tibial nerve say so here we can see the common peroneal nerve and common peroneal nerve descent and at this point the common peroneal nerve is divided into the deep peroneal nerve and the superficial peroneal nerve so we can see this point this point is the marking point is the division point of the common peroneal nerve and we can see this is the fibula and here is the tibia so this fibula we can see this is the head and just below the head there is a neck of the fibula and at the point of the neck of the fibula the common peroneal nerve is divided into two parts this is the superficial peroneal nerve and the deep peroneal nerve and these two points is very very important and it is the frequently asked question uh, in the MRCS exam that means the common peroneal nerve uh, about the common peroneal nerve so here we can see in this second picture we can see also this is the common peroneal nerve and at this point the common peroneal nerve is divided into two parts one is the superficial peroneal nerve and another is the deep peroneal nerve so it is very very important and common peroneal nerve is very important for MRCS exam so here at the later aspect of the neck of the fibula the, at this point common peroneal nerve bifurcate into superficial and deep peroneal nerve 